Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here, and welcome back to more High School Romance. Last time we, uh, we tried on ladies' underwear. Yeah, uh, let's just go. <laughs> yeah, uh, still, he got some hips on him. I don't get what's going on with that, but, uh, pretty sure a lot of ladies would be envious of that. <laughs> this is supposed to be private. My principal isn't supposed to see me naked. Or in underwear. Wait, why am I even covering my chest? Doesn't look like it to me. Looks like you're trying to show it off for the world. I found this black lingerie set for special occasions and a sports bra for gym class. Yeah, I'd mentioned that last time, I think. That, uh, sports bra. Good for if you don't have much to show. Does she even care? Here, try them on. Only if you do it first, lady. Jeez, watching me like this. Give me a show. I'll try them on if you do first. I'm not sure why I blurted that out. Maybe if I was th maybe I was thinking that if she wanted to see me naked, it was only fair that I returned the favor. It was only after the fact that I realized how wrong it sounded, because yeah, it's still your principal guy. What? I don't know about that. I mean, this is a shopping trip for you. I don't have any reason to try them on. I mean, you like clothing, don't you? Just forget I said anything. I was just being stupid. Oh. Oh, I get it now. You want to see someone else try it on first so you don't feel so self-conscious. Uh, I guess? Sure, let's go with that. Well, in that case, I, su I don't suppose it can hurt. Besides, I never pass up the chance to try on clothes. Haha, <laughs> I was right. Just don't tell anyone else about this, okay? Yeah, I feel like if I did tell somebody else about it, that would probably cause a lot of trouble for both of us. Also, that's a really nice looking mirror. I just noticed it's got like some uh, fancy frame and all, especially for just a standard clothing store. Uh, I think it's a standard clothing store. A clothing store? <laughs> I mean, it's just a mirror. I'm just happy to have my own shirt back on. Which would be kind of funny if uh, he actually had on everything whenever he was in the in the text box. I still had the, uh, the underwear on for that. <laughs> but is Miss Rowan really going to let me see her trying on underwear? That's inappropriate. Okay, you can come in now. <whistles> ah, his face. That expression says it all. <laughs> yeah. But also, she wears that very well. Wait, that's what he was wearing. Did she take what he was wearing? See? Dot, dot, dot. Huh? Shoji, what do you think? Wow. She sure is busty. You couldn't tell that just from her normal clothing? Why is she a principal and not a model? Yeah, that's a fair point. Oh crap. She's probably going to expel me if I keep staring like this. It, I, uh, it's, uh, a very, um... <laughs> what? Your face is so red. Is that a good sign? Um... Probably, yes. I mean, definitely. It looks nice on you. Nice. <laughs> with all my vocabulary, the word I managed to come up with was nice. I mean, that's kind of fair. I'm terrible at coming up with words on the spot myself. <laughs> you think so? Y yes. Ah, don't turn like that. Oh, I can just imagine the jiggle physics if it were a 3D game. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you like it. It's a bit small for me, of course. Just a bit? I hope I didn't make you feel too uncomfortable. With you dressed like that, it's easy to forget you're not really a girl. No, no, I'm fine, really. But is it really okay, for, okay to do something like this? Oh, it's fine. After all, my real underwear is underneath. I don't see any other underwear while you're wearing that. 
Oh, I guess Miss Rowan would know. Wait, I can't see her underwear on beneath the black panties. Aha, I was right. Does that mean Miss Rowan is wearing a thong? Oh. Still not seeing anything. Still not seeing anything. Okay, I did my part. See, there's no harm in just trying on some underwear. It's a fact of life. Everybody wears underwear, except people who don't, like nudists. We can try that later if you like. Do you feel more comfortable with the idea now? Um... I can't really say that I do after my principal just stripped down in front of me, but... Let's just go for the story. Don't be so shy. Do you know how bras work? If you don't, I can show you. Adjusting the straps is really easy. Come here. I'll let you practice on mine. Oh boy! <laughs> what? From behind, of course. Don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> Shoji, your hands are shaking so much. Are you really that nervous? Probably his principal of all people, and a rather busty principal at that, just stripped down practically in front of him, is now in her underwear, and is letting him fondle her underwear. That's, uh... Like, even a confident guy would probably be taken aback by that all of a sudden. There. See how simple that was? Now, step back out so I can finish getting changed, please. Why? You've already done that much. What's it gonna change, uh, going all out? My head is spinning, and I'm starting to doubt all this is real. Yeah, I would probably feel about the same at this point. Because that's a lot to take in for one person all at once. I can't get the side of our... I, I can't get the side of her out of my head. It's like her after image has burned into my eyeballs. Yeah, I can see that. How the heck am I supposed to get through gym class after this? How am I going to hide my eye uh Ready? Yeah, that looks nice. How about this one? Not so shocking, hmm? And he is in the underwear again. Didn't he leave? Did he go out into the room like that? Still, that's a great expression on his part. <laughs> Anything she puts on in the store is going to be shocking. Shocking enough to make you fly into your underwear, apparently. It's a bit tamer, but still stylish. Bright neon colors are really popular right now. They're good for Jim because they hold everything in place. Even though he has nothing to hold in place. Well, maybe one thing. She's just talking about it so casually. Don't be so apprehensive. These are typical everyday topics for a lot of friends. Once you start making some, you need to be prepared to actually have these conversations. She does have a point, I suppose. Though I don't really see him going to the, uh, underwear store with a lot of girls just casually talking about these things all that much. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know how to talk about girly things. Not being girly and all. Since I only live with my parents, I haven't even heard anything like that before. Hmm... Well, when in doubt about something, just try to follow the other person's lead and agree. Yeah, just smile and nod. That works for everything. So, I just told you my sports bra holds everything in place. What would you say to a girl who mentioned that? Yes, it does. I mean, um... I don't have much to hold in place. Good. Casual and modest. It might draw a little attention to the fact, but all girls are built differently. You'll catch on, don't worry. Anyway, there's a specific reason I picked this out for you. This is the sort of thing we wear to gym class, so you should definitely get one. Now, I've tried them both on like we agreed, so it's your turn. Wasn't there a third item you brought in? Oh, did you want me to try that on too? You might as well. I mean, we've come this far, right? Oh my. Wow. Heh, <laughs> so you like it. 
And at this point, I think I'd do anything she told me to. <laughs> you and probably a lot of guys. Good. Now your turn. Do I really have to? Okay, fine. It's not like anything's going to fit me anyway, like it's supposed to. Fit me the way it's supposed to, so I shouldn't be that worried about how it looks. But I guess it really isn't so bad. If I'm pretending to be a girl, it does give me that shape that Miss Rowan was talking about. Yeah, still with the hips, but that does nothing for him. Really, though. Well, how do you like them, Shoji? Is everything a good fit? It's great, especially the items you picked out. I'll bet you have a good eye for this kind of thing. For picking out girls' clothes for boys? Yeah, that was kind of an odd thing of him to say, I suppose. Or an odd under uh, misunderstanding. I meant shopping in general. Maybe you have a hidden talent. <laughs> Maybe that's true. Hopefully I'll get to experiment a little more with your wardrobe sometime. What? Since you liked those items so much, let me buy them for you. She is a very generous principal. Doing all of this going out of her way for him. At least let me pay for these. You already bought so much for, so much for me at the other store. Nonsense. You're a student, so I know you don't have that much reliable income. Just think of it as my little way of helping you out. If you're sure. I am. And thank you for being a good sport and letting me see you in those cute clothes. Pervert. Why is she thanking me for that? Because she a pervert. I'm glad we arranged this little outing. It's refreshing to get away from the school once in a while. Since we stay there the majority of the time, sometimes we get stuck in our own little world. Yeah, I could see that with a boarding school. All the days would just sort of run together. Not that it's entirely a bad thing, but still. I think I'm going to enjoy it there, even if I can't be myself. I mean, with a principal like this, I mean, that's a that's a pretty good relationship there. I mean, you get into trouble, she'll probably let it slide. Why couldn't you be yourself? You're still you. That doesn't change just because you dress like a girl, does it? It's a fair point, I suppose. I don't know if it's that simple, which is also a fair point, because there are slight behavioral differences and things like restroom breaks and other such things. If I pretended to be a boy, I don't think I'd feel like a different person. I'd still have my same interests and humor, right? You don't have to change that much about you. Even if you like things people usually associate with boys, that doesn't mean you can't like them as a girl. Yeah, and vice versa. Like, a lot of the ladies like monster trucks, and that's usually associated as a guy thing. People can like whatever they want. Even your boy clothes don't necessarily mean anything. I think that's what Selena assumed last night. That, and that I was a lesbian. <laughs> Did she really? I'm curious how you answered that one. I told her I wasn't, which is true, I guess. Although it was also kind of a lie. Well, you'll probably be d telling a lot of those this year. I just hope you work well under pressure. And speaking of pressure, we're going to be late if we don't hurry. Lunch is probably almost over. I didn't mean to keep you out this long. Oops. Well, what are you going to do? Send me to the principal? Ha <laughs> ha! Jokes. Ha ha ha! I guess I'd have to serve detention with you, wouldn't I? Still, we don't want to make a bad impression. Or give anybody the wrong idea about what a student and a principal are doing outside of the school together, shopping for underwear. Let's grab a rice ball and head back to the school, alright? Sure. Thank you for the clothes today. I'll try to pay you back as soon as possible. No need for that. Pay me back by doing well in your classes. And try to enjoy yourself this year. Well, that went, um... Casually. The more time passes, the more I get used to what I'm wearing. 
I guess this is like some time later or something. I was so distracted this morning thinking about the act, uh, the act I'm putting on that I couldn't focus. Or maybe it's not that long. Uh, maybe it's not that long into the future. In the afternoon classes, I'm doing a lot better. I actually managed to take notes during the lecture. Good for you. Note taking is good. And a lot of the time, I found myself thinking about something besides my situation. I don't know if I'll actually get used to dressing like a girl, but at least I won't let it ruin my studies. Hmm? Over already? I guess I'll wait to leave again. I don't want to attract too much attention. Huh? What's Hoshi still doing here? Is she cleaning up the classroom? All by herself? Yeah, that's, uh... So, uh... Didn't she say she was class president or something to that effect? Or representative or something? Yeah, 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 class representative. I knew it was something like that. Maybe that's part of the class representative's duties. Yes, typically it is. Part of, uh... Keeping things neat and tidy and, uh... Helping students and all that good stuff. Still, cleaning up the room looks like a lot of work. Maybe I should help her? Hmm... Nah, it's her job. I'll leave her to it. Oh, she looks like she can handle it. She's a big girl. Big strapping girl. Besides, she might actually be offended if I try to help. Well, that depends on the person. We don't know much about her yet. I don't want to suggest that she couldn't do her job as class representative. That's fair. I should probably just go and not make a nuisance of myself. I really don't have anything to do. Well, if you don't have anything to do, then I suppose we should just cut it here for now. Go ahead and quit then, let you uh do nothing until next time. It does the auto save, shut up. <laughs> but yeah, a little bit of progress made today. We uh tried on underwear. We got to see our principal try on underwear, so there's a bonus for you if you like that, and uh we got to see a priceless expression from him. <laughs> uh that was a great face to make. But anywho, this has been High School Romance. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I will see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.